computer mouse with eyes, ears, and whiskers reads a book. Here's how. Come and read between the lions. Come on. A family of lion puppets plays and reads inside a library. Begin. The world awaits. Between. Title. Little Big Mouse. Theo carries a stack of books to click the mouse. Careful, careful. Uh, shoo. All righty, click. Uh, begin scanning here. Scanning. Charlotte's Web. Ooh, yummy. Ooh, that's a scrumptious book. Boy, it has this heroic little spider in it. Hey, oh, let me read some of it to you, click. Excuse me, but there are 59 books here. If you want to have them on the shelves by tomorrow, I suggest we read it later. Oh, you're right, Click. Uh, sorry, <laughs> continue scanning. Scanning. The Complete History of Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs? Whoa, yummy again. Boy, I've always wanted to know more about dinosaurs. Maybe I'll just take a little peeky-poo. <laughs> no time, no time. Okay, okay, no time. Uh, continue scanning. Scanning? The Lion and the Mouse. Hmm. Is this book about a computer mouse like me and a lion like you? Hmm, well, we could uh, read it and find out, but there's no time. <laughs> oh, there is always time to read a book about a mouse. Oh, good. You know, I think Lionel and Leona would like this one, too. Well, come on, Click. Yes. The lion family and Click sit together. Okay, Dad, I'm ready. The Lion and the Mouse by Esau, mm -hmm. a writer from ancient Greece. <gasps> Yummy! <laughs> <clears throat> Once upon a time, a little brown mouse walked up a big brown hill. Let's see. I have to get some Swiss cheese, American cheese, provolone, and a big wheel of Gouda. I may be little, but I have a very big appetite. When the little mouse got to the top of the big brown hill, she found that it wasn't a big brown hill at all. It was a big brown lion. Uh-oh. Mmm, a little brown snack. The big lion grabbed the little mouse. He was just about to drop her into his mouth when the mouse said, Oh, please don't eat me. If you let me go, I'll return the favor and help you out one day. <laughs> How could a little mouse help a lion? Hmm. Yeah. Excuse me, but mice can be very helpful. Hmm, right. <clears throat> the big lion roared with laughter. <laughs> and he decided to let the little mouse go. I don't understand. Well, why'd that lion let the little mouse go? Well, funny you should ask, Leona. There's one way to find out exactly why, and that's for your mom to go. Between the covers. Click, drag and drop me into the book, please. Executing command. Cleo drops into the book. <laughs> Between the covers, the show that gives you the inside story, inside the story. And now here's our on the page correspondent, Cleo the lion. Cleo meets the lion in the book. Tell me, sir, why exactly did you let that little brown mouse slip through your fingers? Did you really believe a little brown mouse would actually be able to help you someday? Well, no, but the whole idea cracked me up, so I had to let her go. I see. Very interesting motivation. <laughs> That's the story so far. Thanks for stopping by. Home, click. Cleo drops into the library. Hi, Mom. Nice report, Cleo, my dear. Hmm. It is certainly nice to see a mouse being appreciated. Yeah, I still say you should have eaten that mouse. Oh, you think so, huh? Hmm, well, let's see what happens next. Mm -hmm. Good idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. A long time passed. 
Then one day, the big brown lion was walking in the jungle. Let's see. Roast beef, beef wellington, chipped beef, beef tartare. When suddenly, he was caught in a hunter's net. Help! Help! The hunters were fast approaching. Help! Pointy spears poke out of tall grass. Just then, the little brown mouse happened by. Hey! Aren't you that big brown lion who didn't eat me because I said I would help you someday? Yeah, that's me, that's me. Go find someone to free me from this net. The little mouse offered to help the big brown lion. I can free you. Are you crazy? How can a little brown mouse like you free me from this great big net? The hunters come closer as the trapped lion dangles from a tree. I can do it like this! The little brown mouse scurried up the tree and chewed through the net. Then the big brown lion was free! The lion and the mouse shake hands. Ah. See? I told you I would help you someday. Yeah. I'm sure glad I didn't eat you. Likewise. I'm sure. The end. Or and the moral is, even little creatures can do big things. Oh, boy, Spectacular nice moral. Oh, yes. Back to work. Okay, yeah. right behind you, dear. We'll see you later, kids. Okay. Bye. It makes you realize how much mice can help lions, does it not? Oh, yes, it does, because that little brown mouse was a great big hero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. What do you say we form a little brown mouse fan club? Yeah! I do not have a fan club. Now a word. Little. It. The letters I-T come out. And now, lovers of the vowels A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y, the vowels are in the house, singing the short I sound from their hip hit word, hit! On a stage, gloves clap to the music as blue, red, and orange lips sing along with a blue-haired puppet lady. Balcony, two pigeon puppets scurry past a talking statue. It, 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 it. Get ready. Something particularly silly is about to happen. I can feel it. Green letters I T chase the pigeons. This is it. I told you. Clay, run for your. Uh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. oh, it's too silly. I can't take it anymore. Make it go away, I beg you. It is going! Thank you. It's back. I-T. Now letters come and go to it. make new words and sounds. Lit. Lit. Lip. 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 Ip. Rip. Rip. T. Trip. Welcome back to the National Word Club Masters. We're watching word writing ace Tiger Words as he approaches the final T of the tournament. He's got to write the word trip. There's that tricky t, r, tr at the beginning, then the i sound in the middle, and the p sound at the end. Tr, i, p. If he makes it, he will win a trip to Tripoli. He's choosing a writing implement from his pencil case, and it's a purple marker, a bold move for this writing wonderkind. Tiger steps up to the T and begins that famous stroke. He makes the letter R a consonant that sounds like R. Pure poetry. With the letter T, that makes the sound T, R, Tr. The first sound of the word trip. Tiger now raises his purple marker, lines up his stroke, and yes, it's a perfect letter P, which sounds like P, the last sound in the word trip. But he still has to add a vowel to make the I sound in the middle. Let's watch. Oh, too bad. He wrote the letter A, which makes the A sound. He's written the word trap. 
What a setback for Tiger. Mm -hmm. And the word is in marker. He can't erase it. But wait, this kid is never out of ideas. He's using a lawnmower to erase the letter A. And he's done it. Yes, he's written the letter I, which makes the sound I. He's written the word trip. What a triumph for Tiger Woods. He wins that trip to Tripoli. T-R-I-P. Trip. R-I-P. Rip. I-P. Ip. Z-I-P. Zip. Zip. The Um People. Sick of all the rhinos ruining her picnic, gritty little Monica Maxwell has rounded them up and zipped them into a big zippered bag. But wait a minute, what's this? Oh no, it's the evil Um People. They're putting an um in front of the word zipped, causing the zipper on the big zippered bag to become unzipped. Those dratted rhinos are loose again. Despair not, gritty little Monica. The heroic re people are here. Look, they've re rounded up the rhinos and re zipped them into the big zippered bag. Thank you, Ree people. You're incredible. Now, letters come and go to make new words and sounds. Ip. T. Tip. Tip. Tick! Ooh, tickle! And now it's time for... Gawain's word! Gawain's word! Excellent! Gawain here once again at Blending Fields, where two brave knights in armor will charge together at high speed and make a word! Competing today, we have Sir... T T and Sir Ickle! Ickle! Blend on, dude! The two knights run toward each other. Ickle! 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 Tickle! They crash into each other. Then one tickles the other with a feather. Tickle! <laughs> Excellent! That's Gawain's word for today. And this is Gawain saying, I'll be tickled to see you next time on... Gawain's word! Gawain's word! Let's begin with the Owen Cleo. Kitchen. <laughs> What's mm. cooking today, Theo, my big leg of antelope? Oh, <laughs> tickled and pickled ribs. Yummy! Sounds lip licking good. <laughs> One. Put on bib. Put on bib. <laughs> bib on! <gasps> Oh, you look dashing. Oh, my thank love, you, my, my dear. <laughs> nosy, 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 nosy. Two. Two, oh, yes. Pick up the stick. Uh, um, ah, stick. Picked. Three. Tickle the ribs with the stick. Uh -huh, yeah. Theo tickles the raw meat. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, all tickled. <laughs> four. Oh, mm, mm. Pickle the ribs for 24 hours. Mm, 24 hours? Nah. Theo grabs a piece of raw meat and chews on it. Now click the mouse in the library. Writing a letter to that other mouse. After all the things I've done for them. Oh, and all the things I can do. I do not roar, but still I am a mouse you can't ignore. I am not loud, but still I stand above the road and crowd. And gosh, I'm proud because I can click. Hello, I am click. Watch me drag, watch me drop, watch me download a file really quick. It's all here at the click of a finger. So come on. I'm one mighty mouse, it's the click around the world. Click flies around.
found inside a computer. I don't like cheese. I do not squeak or squeal or run up trees. But on my pad, I'll show the world to you. And that's not bad. No, that's not bad. Cause hey, I can click. She can click. I can, I can click. Yes, she can click. Come on, I'm on a roll. Watch me point, watch me scroll. computer turns into a globe. Now, clicks back in the library with Lionel and Leona. <sighs> Done. Listen to this. Okay. Dear little brown mouse, mm -hmm. lions everywhere <laughs> think you're the best little brown mouse in the whole wide world. Mm. Love, Lionel. And Leona. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you think she's going to like it? Oh, I know I would. <laughs> so, what can this mouse help you lions with? Uh... We don't need you for anything, Click. No, we don't need you, Click. Thank you anyway. Mm. Oh, they don't need me. Oh, they have another mouse. And now, world-renowned mezzo-soprano, Ms. Denise Graves, will sing the sound of the letter I in the word sit. <laughs> Two monkey puppets give the singer flowers. I-T. It. S. S-I-T. Sit. S I. Sit. C K. K. Sick. I C K. Ick. T. Tick. L E. Ooh. Tickle. T T Oh. T Ick. Tick. Tick. Oh. Oh. Tickle. T tickle. <laughs> tickle. <laughs> tickle. <laughs> tickle. <laughs> and now the word doctor with Dr. Ruth Wertheimer. Hello. Here's Dr. Ruth. It must be time for another long word freak out. Yeah! Whoa, Dr. Ruth, Dr. Ruth, you gotta help me. I was reading a book, right? And everything was going fine, see? And then, and then, I came to this way. It has Ooh. 11 letters. Ooh, look how long it is, I can't read it, I can't. Yes, you can. Now, take a deep breath. <sighs> Start on the left. <sighs> and take it one part of the word at a time. Okay, okay, I'm gonna try, okay. In, tell, i, gent. Good, now put the parts together. In, tell, i, gent. Intelligent, intelligent. Intelligent, that's right. You got it. Oh, I got it. I got it. Oh, Dr. Ruth, thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. You are welcome. Oh, I'm good. And that is a very intelligent monkey. Now the letters I N. I N. In. In. F I N. F I N. F I N E. Silent E. Fine. L I N E. L. Line. Now a cartoon man has an E for a head. These vowels have a problem, and Silent E's to blame. Instead of A, 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 he makes them say their name. He's changed the sounds to A, 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 
I and O and U. With pals like that, just think about what damage he can do. Silent E, he changed his tub into a cube. Silent E, he changed his tub into a tube. He changed his twin to twine, he changed his can into a cane. And this great man must stop him before he strikes again. Silent E, your vowel sound changing days are over. I'm carting you off to the slammer. But of course, you have the right to remain silent. Look, a note from Silent E. It says, I love that pin you're wearing. I love to have a closer look. Gee, thanks so much for sharing. Well, sure. Oh, I don't see any harm in that. Oh, yeah. He knew that pin would do just fine. Climbs the pine tree. A story sad but true. He's escaping out the window, and there's nothing we can do. Well, Silent E, you may have slipped out of my grasp this time, but mark my words, I'll get you yet! Now a word. If it drops into another word. Little. <sighs> I am not their favorite mouse anymore. Quack! Quack. We, we need, need you. you! They need me! They need me! <laughs> yes, you need me? How may I assist you? We want you to send fan mail into the book for the little brown mouse to read. Oh. Oh, boy. Come Whoa. on, dear. Come on. Oh. We have received 540 letters from your little brown mouse website. Website? 541! <laughs> Oh, 541. Okay. Click, would you please drag and drop that bag of fan mail into the book? Executing command. I never get any f fan mail. The mail bag drops into the book. Ah, that was good, huh? Wow. Mm. So, do you need me for anything else? No, no, nope. we don't no need I don't need to click. click. Not at all. Hey, Daddy, 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 Daddy. Mm. Yeah, Let's yeah. see if the little brown mouse got her fan mail. Oh, all righty, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see here. Theo opens the book. <laughs> Once, <laughs> or maybe twice upon a time, a little brown mouse walked up a big brown hill. Let's see. I have to get some Swiss cheese, American cheese, provolone, and a big wheel of Gouda. I may be little, but I have a very big appetite. When the little brown mouse got to the top of the big brown hill, she found that it wasn't a big brown hill at all. It was a big brown mailbag. Hey, this hill feels different. This isn't a big brown hill. This is a big brown mailbag. And these letters are addressed to me. I wonder how that little brown mouse feels about getting all that fan mail. Well, as I've said before, there's one way to find out. Huh? Click! We need you! Click! Click! Does it have anything to do with that little brown mouse? How did you oh. guess? Click! Drag and drop me into the book, please. Executing command. Cleo drops into the story. Show that gives you the inside story, inside the story. Hi, kids. Hi, Theo. Hi, hi, hi honey. This is Cleo the Lion reporting once again from the pages of The Lion and the mouse. Little brown mouse, how do you feel about receiving 541 letters from fans all over the world? Oh, I'm touched. I'm gonna take them home and read them all right now. This is a fascinating development. The mouse has gone home to read her fan mail. How will this affect the story? Cleo steps on the hunter's neck. Oh! oh, oh. Oh, oh, no, oh, this reporter seems to be caught in a hunter's net. Oh, oh and the hunters are fast approaching. We need you. Click is running away. Oh, sure they need me. Probably to deliver the Nobel Prize to that little brown mouse. Click. Oh, let Cleo do it herself. I'm leaving. Forever. Mom's in trouble. Oh, where are you? Cleo is in the book. She can't get out of there without me. Here I am. Stand back. Cleo 
drops back into the library. Yes, yes there she is! Oh. Okay. Oh, yes. Click, you mm. saved my life. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you say I'm a hero? Ah, oh, you bet, Click. As much of a hero as, say, the little brown mouse? Oh, a bigger hero, right? Mm -hmm. oh. Yes. <laughs> Very well. Then perhaps you should design a fan club for me. Oh. I could help you make the website. There could be hats with my picture on them, mouse pads, a complete selection. There are games and stories at the Between the Lions website. EBSKids.org or America Online. Keyword, PBS Kids. Reading to children every day creates warm family memories, and it helps them become better readers. Help a child get wild about reading. Be a designated reader. Okay, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Do your designated reader thing. Okay. This program was described by Descriptive Video Service WGBH Boston with funding from the U.S. Department of Education. Described by Alice Austin, read by Chloe Lehman. For more about DBS, visit our website at wgbh.org slash dbs. Credits, executive producer Judith Stoya. Executive producers for Serious Thinking, Michael K. Frith, Norman Stiles, and Christopher Cerf. Directed by Lisa Simon. Copyright 2000 WGBH Educational Foundation and Serious Thinking Limited.